But hey guys, welcome to another episode I got going on here. And you are watching the tour life. Yeah, I'm back. Been running around, you know, jumping back between the East Coast and the West Coast, but yeah, I'm back here in uh, Vegas. So I ended up going to this awesome place I haven't been to in a while, and I just had to like share this with you because I know some of you probably never know it's even here. But we are currently at a great place in the middle of the desert called the Valley of Fire. And I tell you what, if there's anything you do when you come to Vegas, or you just come to Nevada, you make your way to the Valley of Fire. It's just so much worth it. It's so much worth it. Um, it's only $10 to, to get in if you're a resident, $15 if you're a non-resident. If you are a veteran, you can go over to the tourist center and actually get a free pass for a year for the park for free, which is really cool for us vets. I had to do that and it made life so much simpler. But anyway, let's proceed down the road. You're going to make a left and you're going to get into this area where you see the beautiful, beautiful red sandstone and how beautiful it is and why it just opens up into the valley of fire and you're just going to be amazed by it and just the blue skies in the background with the clouds and everything just it's just it's so like futuristic that's a word i guess maybe it is i don't know maybe that's really well There's a lateral rock, and you know what? I didn't film it because I was so always get amazed by it. And we're gonna climb up the up the staircase, and you're gonna go and you see the petroglyphs and everything, and you're gonna see like throughout the rest of the park and all these different things on there. So you, you said something you want to see for yourself anyway. I can't give it justice by just filming it. I'm gonna be truthful to you. But um, as we as we exit it and we're going down the road, then we're gonna to head to the tourist center, and. Here, you're going to find all kinds of great stuff. Everything you could possibly imagine that to learn about this place and to learn about what Valley of Fire is, is you know, with, you know, a lot of history about Valley of Fire, everything. So, and also, you know, you could look on the internet and learn a lot about what's going on with Valley of Fire, but just take in all the beauty around you or what you're seeing. And I tell you what, you're just going to, it's going to blow your mind because you never thought that something this beautiful can actually sit so close to Las Vegas. So we're at the Valley of Fire, um, we're at the Visitor Center. I've not been here in the Visitor Center in five years, you know, since COVID and everything. So it's pretty cool, it's pretty cool. Let's go check out and see what's inside. Let's go see what's inside. Like so it shows the what the valley is today. Let's start from the beginning. So you kind of see everything where it used to be a sea. Let the sea vanish. That's how you get the over there. The muddy mountain. Seventy million years ago. <laughs> We've been around here for a while, haven't we? Well, I guess when you're up here, you can actually buy some firewood, which is pretty cool. Little park info. Let me get yeah. 
You look on my previous uh, pages and actually a lot of my uh, me talking about things in the in the area of places you have to visit being one of them Valley of Fire and you'll see that one of the things I talk about is this place and it's kind of cool that's some great photos of this stuff too some really good photos of it I got some really good photos of all this that's really cool good to see everything You never noticed that there before at Pulp Camp. Pulp. Look at that guy. Look at that guy up there. Shoes and the litter. The invaders came and settlers came. The badger. Tarantula. Well, that's cool. There used to be like a thing over here with animals. And looks like there's mostly over here now. We get a limestone, sandstone. So you know what you're seeing out here. You see a lot of landstone, this the limestone, the sandstone, the gypsum, conglomerate, con conglomerate. That's what conglomerate is. <laughs> and desert varnish. I like the desert varnish. You see that a lot. And you see quartz. And fossil coral. Brachiopods. I've actually found a couple of those. Petrified wood. That's pretty cool. And the calcite. They don't have the nodules up there. The geos, most of the people take them. Now, when you go over to, there's an area you go and you actually see the tarantula wasp. They need to get new tarantula wasp. These guys are looking old over here. The exhibit is going with all their live animals and stuff. Pottery from a thousand years old. Look at that. You'll see a couple of these guys in the summertime. You'll see them all over the place. And these guys right here, paying the butts, I call them. The Caillou. You see the desert fox. Yeah. It's a cool little rest stop. It's going to do that. Oh, you sure? You want to pack on our cakes? I'm sorry. Yes, son. And there you go. Thank you so much. You have a fun day. Put the 20 on the 20 and Nice out today, 67 degrees, 48 degrees low. So now we just left the um, visitor center and we're just cruising. We're gonna, when we go out of the visitor center, we're going to make a right and go up the hill and around this like thing and everything. And you're going to see like, you see like Mouse's Tank, which is a pretty cool story about a about this native guy who the, 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 he did something and all the all the rangers were looking for him and they spent weeks and weeks they gave up and they decided we're going to go check this place out 
and it failed him. He was there for like, I think like two months, I'm not sure. But he was there for a while and he's just uh, sitting there just chilling. Hey, you guys are in the farm and they end up finding him by accident. And one of my favorite places is Gibraltar Rock, which is really cool. You know, before then you're going to see all this other stuff that you, that you guys see also. But just go to Valley of Fire and you're going to see, see all of that. But Gibraltar Rock is really cool. I love it going out there and looking in that area and just uh, just walking around. The other spot that I'm always happy to see, and actually you probably should travel there and make it a day when you go here, and that is right below. And the reason why you have to make a day, because you're going to walk down some trails, you're going to spend some time down there. There's caverns down there. There's like these tight walkways. It's a really cool place to be. Um, this is like a great place for traveling. And it's like when you come in, when you come to Valley, you have to see. So now we're going to head back down the, down the hill because we're going we're gonna to make our way out of here. I'm actually doing this video with, with my family. Um, my, my, both my older, much older sisters, and I have to, you know, we gotta, they got to get back to the house because it does get dark and we don't want to be out here when it's dark. But it's such a beautiful day this day was, and you know, we had a great time. Um, there, you know, you'll see the uh, Gibraltar Rock on, again going out, and you'll see the other side of it, and you just see like how the landscape just opens up, and how beautiful it is. Oh my gosh, it's just so beautiful. And, you know, it's, it's, this is a place like that you definitely take your family and don't feel like you can't do that because I, we used to go here with my kids a lot and they loved it and it was so fun just to do some hiking and, and walking around. Uh, it's, you know, you, you, you just don't see stuff like this, like in the big cities. So, and this is so close to like, to Vegas, so close to Henderson and, uh, you know, the whole Southern Nevada area. Something amazing happened while we were, while we were driving. We came across a family of bighorn, and these, I've been down this on this road so many times and filmed out here and everything else. I've never, ever came across a family of bighorn. We hit down the road and we get to the cabins, which were built primarily so you could stay in. And you know, it's like it's, it's not an Airbnb, but uh, it's a great area to go camping. It's a great area to to just you know to visit, take photos there, the whole thing. Um, it's it's just exciting. The place is just exciting. Another great time that I had in, in Vegas, and I hope you had some fun time too. Ciao.